five attacks away from Volodymyr Zelensky's historic visit to Washington. CNN. 300 days after his country was invaded by Russia, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky jetted to Washington, D.C. for talks on what the next 300 days might bring. Shrouded in secrecy until the last minute, his drug visit was heavy with the symbolism from Zelensky's drab green sweatshirt to President Joe Biden's blue and yellow striped tie to the Ukrainian battle flag unfueled on the House floor. But the trip was about far more than symbols. Biden wouldn't invite Zelensky to Washington and endure a risky trip outside the Ukraine for the first time since the war began if he did not believe something real, real could be accomplished the meeting face-to-face -face instead of over the phone. Emerging from their talks, both men made clear they see the war entering the new page. The Russia sends more troops to the front lines and wages the brutal air campaign against the civilian target, fears of the stalemate are growing. Yet, as Zelensky departed Washington for the lengthy and seemingly, seemingly risky return trip to Ukraine, it wasn't clear that a pathway, pathway to ending the conflict was any clearer. Biden and Zelensky tried to figure out how the war ends, gaining clarity on where Zelensky stands when it comes to ending the war was among the prerogatives in bringing him to the White House. The Ukrainian leader had previously expressed the desire for the just peace that would end the conflict, a point that U.S. officials said would be at the center of their talks Wednesday. But on Wednesday, Zelensky used the bellicose rhetoric that suggested that such a peace was not close, saying the road to ending the war would not involve making concessions to Russia. For me as a president, just peace is no compromise, he said, indicating he does, doesn't see any road to peace that involves the Ukraine giving up territory or sovereignty. Later in his address to Congress, Zelensky said he, he presented a 10-point peace formula to Biden, though U.S. officials said afterward it was the same plan he offered to world leaders at the Group of 20 summit last month. Among the Western nations that have rallied in support behind Zelensky, there have been lingering concerns about what Zelensky's long-term plan might be. For his part, Biden said that it was up to Zelensky to decide how he wants to the end, were to end. A long-held view that leaves plenty of questions unanswered. Watch Zelensky's historic speech to Congress. Zelensky shows he knows his audience and displays his showmanship. Zelensky peppered his address to lawmakers with references to American history from the critical battle of Saratoga during the American Revolutionary War to the Battle of the Birch in World War II. He, deliver he delivered his address in English of for possible choice, he telegraphed ahead of the speech. Even his attire, the now familiar army green shirt, cargo pants, and boots, seemed designed to remind his audience they were in the presence of the wartime leader. 
Over the course of the conflict, Zelensky has demonstrated the acute ability to appeal, he, appeal to his audience, be their national registrators or the audience of the Grammys. On Wednesday, he sought to harness American's emotional response to his country's suffering, evoking dark winter nights as Russia seeked to interrupt Ukraine's power supply. In two days, we will celebrate Christmas, maybe candlelit, not because it's more romantic, no, but because there will not be, there will be no electricity, he said. But he also seemed aware that many Americans, including some Republicans in Congress, have wondered aloud why billions of U.S. dollars are needed for the conflict thousands of miles away. He sought to make the cause about more than his own homeland. The battle is not only for life, freedom, and the security of Ukrainians or any other nation which Russia attempted to conquer, he said. The struggle will define in what world our children and grandchildren will live in. He added, our, your money is not charity, it's an investment in the global security and democracy. that we handle in the most responsible way. Zelensky finally accept the ride he was offered and get the ammo to, ammo to. At the start of Russia's war in Ukraine, Zelensky turned down an American offer to evacuate him from Kiev. I need ammunition, not a ride, Zelensky told the US. Ten months later, he got both. When Zelensky touched down outside Washington in the U.S. Mil military plane Wednesday, his arrival capped a 10-day sprint by American and Ukrainian officials to arrange a risky wartime visit meant to rally support from Ukraine's ongoing resistance to Ru Russia's invasion. Just ahead of Zelensky's arrival, the Biden administration announced that it is sending nearly $2 billion in additional security assistance to Ukraine, including a sophisticated new Patriot air defense system that Zelensky has been requesting for months. In weighing a visit, Zelensky suggested to advisors that he did not want to travel, travel to Washington had, had, had there not been a significant development in the bilateral relationship with the United States, according to a source familiar with the matter. Zelensky viewed the U.S. decision to send the Patriot missile defense system to Ukraine as a major shift in the relationship between the two allies. Yet, standing alongside Biden, he was frank that he did not view the single Patriot system as enough. We would like to. We would like to get more Patriots, he said as Biden laughed. I'm sorry, but we are in war. <laughs> a united front in one of the world's most complicated relationships. Speaking later to Congress, Zelensky was again up front that he did not believe the American support was sufficient. Is it enough? Honestly, not really. He said of the artillery that the U.S. has so far provided. Zelensky's candid request for more Patriot and Biden's light, light threatened, light, light hearted response amounted to the window into, a, into one of the world's most complicated relationships. On the surface, Biden and Zelensky has maintained the start the world partnership, and Zelensky was effusive, effusive in his praise of Biden as he went from the over office to the East Room to Capitol Hill. Yet, it, it doesn't take much to see tensions just beneath the, the, the surface. Zelensky has consistently agitated for additional U.S. support despite the tens of billions of dollars in military assistance that Biden has directed to his country. 
that has n o r a c e s o t dwelt with b a y a n all his days, but as he has, but as he has with the host of other foreign leaders, b a y a n appeared the intent to Wednesday on translating physical proximity into a better understanding of his counterpart. It is all about looking someone in the eye. I mean it sincerely. I don't think there is any sub. Substitute for sitting down face to face with a friend or a foe and looking them in the eye, he said. A visit that symbolized a new phase in the world. Biden invited Zelensky to Washington this week because he believed the war in Ukraine is entering the new phase, officials said ahead of the visit. As winter s o u t h in and Russia continues targeting civilian infrastructure, the, mo- the moment seemed ripe for Zelensky to make a dramatic public appeal for continued international support. Yet the new phase isn't only the, isn't only on the fir- battlefield. Around the world, the leaders are confronting, confronting the bitter fallout. fallout. Of the Russia's invasion, higher energy and fraud prices, in part generated by tough sanctions on Moscow, have caused trouble for politicians in Europe and the United States. In Washington, Republicans supposed to take control of Congress have made clear they won't rubber stamp each of Biden's requests for Ukrainian assistance, though fears of funding will dry up. Com- Completely appear unfounded. Congress is on the verge of approving almost fifty billion dollars in additional security and economic assistance. Speaking to lawmakers, Zelensky repeatedly referred to members of both the parties seeking to frame his cause as the bipartisan one. Still, some Republicans refused to attend Zelensky's address to Congress, a protest of what they claim are unrestrained um, dollars heading out of the U.S. It was against that backdrop Biden insisted the U.S. support would continue for months. He said it was important for the American people and for the world to hear directly from you, Mr. President, about what. Ukrainian fight and the need to continue to stand together through 2023.